This is an interesting question. I think they found a good way for us to not really be able to use Desmos here. It's probably possible, but I think more as a check than actually a solve. And um, I don't think we can use the regression here, which I've talked about in other videos on other types of equations, because a circle is really messy. It's got Y's on kind of mixed up on one of the sides, so we can't really set up a regression very easily. Plus, we don't have actually have any points that are on the outside of the circle unless we do a little bit of work. We only have the center point, which isn't really part of the equation. But this version of the equation is some just giant mess because it's basically what we would get if we took the real version of the equation for circles, x minus h squared plus y minus k squared equals r squared, and we just filled in the information we know. So we know that the radius is 9 and the center is at negative 5, 2. So when we put that in, that's going to be hk. And remember, the sign is going to flip because if h is negative 5, then the negative that's already in the equation is going to make that a positive 5. So that's x plus 5 squared plus y minus 2 squared and the radius of 9. So we put 9 in for r, and that means that's 81. Um, from here, some of you might just think, well, if I start foiling things out and doing all the work, I'm just going to end up with a bunch of X's and Y's and 81 is going to be this C term, right? Because that's kind of this thing that doesn't have any X's or Y's with it. But no, you actually got to do the work here because more complicated things are going to happen. This is a great example of just like do the work. We have to foil these, right? So X plus five squared, we're going to get X squared plus 10 X plus 25 y minus 2 squared, y squared minus 4y plus 4 equals 81. So now if I'm looking at this equation, I don't care about anything with an x or y with it. So now, just for the sake of simplicity, I'm going to get rid of this and this and this and this. And I care about the 25 and the 4 and the 81 because I need this equal to 0. So 25 and 4 is 29. And I know this doesn't make any sense because there's some other stuff here. There's a bunch of X's and Y's I don't care about, but it's not an equal sign. But in terms of algebra, I got to move that 81 over so that this side is the equal. So I'm sorry if I confused you by getting rid of those X's and Y's, but this is a good example where if you're confident with algebra, you can do algebra and make the right kinds of shortcuts without worrying about things and just being able to be flexible. But most of you are not as good at algebra as you should be, so maybe just keep all that other stuff around. But regardless, now I would go to my regular calculator and I would do 29 minus 81 and I would get negative 52. And that is the answer. That's the value of C. So I actually think this is a pretty clever question on the College Board's part because it tests the same thing as all these other circle questions that we've seen, but it does it in a way that really requires us to know the information. We, we have to be able to build this equation and then work it through algebraically. Of course, maybe I'm missing something. Maybe there is a clever Desmos solution here that I'm not aware of. If so, put it in the comments. But uh, yeah, I think you added some algebra here. But it all starts with this equation, which we do need to memorize if we want to have any hope of any of these questions, because uh, there's a lot of ways that they can force us to use that equation and prevent us from using Desmos. So it's really just safer to know that equation and be able to build it very quickly.